OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to split your data into separate worksheets without using a VBA macro. Now I want to split my data by account type. And the first step is to click somewhere in your data. Just select one cell in your data. Go up to the Insert tab on your ribbon and then click on this button, the Pivot Table button. In this dialog box, you need to select Existing Worksheet, and then you select a cell in the worksheet with all your data in, an empty cell. Click on OK. Now you should see a Pivot Table Fields task pane on the right of your screen. I want to split the data by customer type, so I tick the customer type field name, and then I drag that field name into the values area. And you'll see in my pivot table, I now have a list of all the unique customer types and then a value to the right of them. Now to create the sheet for the account holder customer type, all I need to do is double click on the corresponding value. I now have a separate sheet that contains all the account holder records. Might need to change the column widths. Then I would go back to my original sheet and I double click on the next value. So that's to the right of the international customer type. Again, I might need to change the column widths and so on and so forth for the other customer types. You can then rename these sheets. Then go back to your original sheet and delete your pivot table. So to delete it, just select it and press delete on your keyboard. Now, if you don't like the formatting that's been applied to each of these sheets, what you can do is click into the data, go up to this table design tab, and you have a table styles gallery. If you click on this button, and then click on the clear button at the bottom of the gallery, it will get rid of the formatting. So I'll do it again for international, click somewhere in the data, go to the table design tab, click on this button, and then on clear. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.